All right, I'm gonna help you set up a Minecraft server on Mac OS X. I'm gonna run through this pretty quick. Um, it's very simple, and I'll show you alternatives so you don't have to use the terminal. Um, so let's go. Open up your web browser and uh, direct it to Minecraft.net. Over on the right, you'll see this image um, above the Buy Now button. However, we're interested in the uh, Play Minecraft beta. Don't we don't need the browser? We need to go to the download section. You'll see these uh, various parts. You'll see the annoying pop-up that never goes away. Um, the Windows, Mac OS, and Linux or other section. These are all the clients, the actual game themselves. However, we want the multiplayer beta server software. All right. If you're on Windows, I don't know why you're watching this video in the first place, but anyway, you can use the executable. If not, you can use the uh, Java deal um, to actually start up your server and manage it and whatnot. Um, so go ahead and right click this and go save link as and save it wherever you'd like. For demonstration purposes though, I'm going to be doing everything on the desktop to make it simple. So uh, let's go ahead and save it to the desktop. However, before moving on, this little snippet of code that is directly under the uh, actual link, um, that's the same code you're going to be using to start, stop the uh, actual server. So keep that in mind, and you might want to keep the window open and just in case you can't read it later on. Um, and go ahead and you can close that, hide it, whatever you want to do with it. All right, so now we want to make a new folder on their desktop to contain all the server's uh, files. I'm just going to name it server. You can name it wherever you want, whatever you want and put it wherever you want. Um, go ahead and put the Java deal in there for the server, and go ahead and open up Terminal or iTerm or whatever you'd like to use. It does, really doesn't matter. Um, so now we have to actually use the terminal to start the server once so we can set everything up and then stop it um, and then edit some parameters, change some settings, and change everything how you'd like. Then we're going to start it one more time. That's, that's when you can actually join it and test it and make sure it works. Um, so let's open up Terminal. We've already got a terminal window. If you know how to navigate using the terminal, go ahead. If you don't, you can just type cd space and then drag and drop the file or the folder. I'm sorry, the folder, and press enter. And there you go. You're inside. Um, now, as before, as I said, the same command that's on that page is exactly what we're going to type here. So go ahead and type uh, Java dash xmx 1024m dash xms 1024m dash jar and then the name of the actual java deal you downloaded which is minecraft server dot jar and then after all of it you type no GUI um, and press enter it'll give you a bunch of uh, messages it might give you a couple error messages that's no big deal um, and then when it's finally finished it'll say uh, help type uh, question mark or help and it's done alright so now we've got this we don't want to do anything yet though so press or type stop press enter and once the prompt returns, we're done for now. So you can go ahead and close this or um, keep it open. I'm going to keep it open over here. Go ahead and open up the uh, folder. Now, if you can use the terminal to actually edit the settings, but that's only if you are good with it and know what you're doing, and it's more of convenience for me. However, if you don't know how, you can use any text editor, like uh, basically text edit. So let's go ahead and open up text edit. You can close the window that it opens and basically drag and drop the server.properties file onto text edit. That's exactly, that's everything you're going to have to uh, edit and screw with in order to properly set up your server. All right. There's a bunch of parameters that you can actually add other than these basic ones, but they're all located on the Minecraft wiki. So if you go there, you can basically type in their little search field. Um, my uh, blah, 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 server parameters or server options or just type in server um, or if I'm not mistaken on the home page it actually has a whole section that uh, has a portal towards uh, anything running about running a server and it can help you find these list of parameters and whatnot however some basic things that you need to know um, most of these are false true and false booleans which means if they say false or true, you can replace either with true or false and vice versa. So say I don't want monsters beyond, I can type false. They'll no longer spawn. One thing I like to do is take off animals. I don't like them because they aren't worth it half the time. 
um, and I like to reduce the number of players. I also like to take off PvP, because I just like it to be building stuff. Um, the server port you should not have to mess with unless your ISP or your router is not properly, or your router uses a different port, or you'd like to use a different port. However, for the most part, you should be able to leave it alone just fine. Um, whitelist is also optional. If you set it to true, it'll actually use this, full, uh, this uh, file right here called whitelist. And you can type in a list of usernames that you'd like to automatically allow into your server. So say you have like three friends named Guy1, Guy2, and Guy3. If I set my server to automatically use the whitelist with true, if people logged into it and they weren't Guy1, 2, or 3, they wouldn't be allowed in. But that's not for everyone. Sometimes people just like to um, ban people that don't want in there. It's all up to you. But uh, I've got everything I want set up. But the last thing we need to edit is the server-ip. Now for me, this is always the IP address that my computer is on my wireless network. So if you're on a local area network or wireless area network, it's more than likely going to be the IP of your actual computer that is running the server. So if I go up here to System Preferences, I go over to Network, and I find out I'm connected to my network and my IP address is 10.0.1. whatever. That's the IP I'm going to use. That's for me. You can try other alternatives such as the um, uh, 127.0.0.1 which is another name for the local host or the actual computer itself. However, that's not, it doesn't work for everyone. It doesn't work for me. But does work is the IP of my computer. Um, for others, it's going to be different. It's mostly a trial and error kind of process. Um, so just try and see what, you can, what happens, what combinations work, and what don't. Um, then when you're finally finished, to save all this and go ahead and close text edit because we're not going to need it for now. Um, and see, we've got oh, and before you go on, if you you might want to open up the op's uh, text file, you might want to just add yourself. So let's say um, what an op is is basically a moderator. They control the server. They can also ban people, whitelist people, and ban ips and whatnot. So. Back over here onto our terminal window, go ahead and press up on the key arrow keys. This can allow you to quickly go back and forth um, among, amongst the uh, commands you already entered. Find the uh, same command we had before, um, if you still have the window. If you don't, repeat the process we did earlier to actually get into the folder, and uh, you should be fine. Then press enter. It'll tell you it's starting up the world and it's done. Press help. Um, First, we're going to test logging into it, then I'll show you the server commands, both for the person in the game as well as the actual server itself. So go ahead and start up Minecraft. Alright, multiplayer, okay. Now this is where I what I was talking about earlier. You can try 127.0.0.1. However, for me, that never works. All right. What does work is my actual IP of my computer on the wireless area network. So I connect to that. That works, and you can see on the terminal window for the server that I've actually logged in on port number blah, blah, blah with whatever uh, items I might have. And it works. It may take a few seconds to load up for the first time, but it works, and you can do whatever um, you'd like. But anyway, we're not here to play the game. We're here to show you. I'm here to show you what to do. See, if you type help in the terminal window, you can actually bring up a list of commands. You can kick people, ban people. It's very, it's very straightforward, and it's not hard to understand. When you type in pardon, blah, 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 it takes ban people and makes it so they can join again. Um, you type OP in a player name, turns them into moderator. And you can teleport people from place to place, you can change the time of day. It's very easy and it's not hard to understand. Anyone can figure it out. So I'm going to go back here. Now since I'm an OP or a moderator, I can do the same commands that are in the terminal window as um, 
up there or on the left and all you have to do is type in slash help and you can type T to see the entire list because uh, it sometimes overlaps and cuts it off so let's say I, there's someone in this game that I didn't like I could go ban guy one oh, slash ban get guy one sorry all commands need to have a slash before it um, assuming you're using the, just a vanilla server which is the base server um, and you can also pardon guy one there you go, and you can, all these commands you can see be, um, being done on the left. So, and you can also do them right here, like say DOP, uh, hacks and I. Over here you'll see no longer an OP. It's not hard. I mean, just a few seconds of fiddling and screwing around can you basically get the entire gist of it. So, it's not hard. Trust me. Um, before I move on, this is a, I just have, I want to answer a couple questions that people have asked before. People have asked, do I need to keep this terminal window open in order to keep the server going? Um, to my knowledge, yes you do. If you close it prematurely, it shuts down the server and it also does some other junk that's just not good for it. So if you're going to stop the server and bring it to a full stop, I recommend you do two things. First, type save-all. This forces a save. You might have to type it twice sometimes. Um, and it should say save complete. After that, type stop. And then once you're brought back to the prompt, everything's hunky-dory. You're good to go. And you can then move around the folder for the actual server. And that's it. Now, there also is another thing. I'm going to start this back up. Go to your web browser, and you can use this website. This website is very helpful. It's canyouseeme.org. It's spelled right up here. Take a look at it. All right, that's the website. You can use that to actually find out what your external IP is if you don't know. And you can also find out if your, for, your ports for your router are properly forwarded. So say if I wanted to make a, let's say I have a computer, which I'm on, and my friend is at another house, but we want to play on a private server together and with this private server we'd like to do all kinds of junk but I don't know if he can actually join so let's say I didn't properly forward my ports properly lots of properties in that sentence um, and I want to test it to make sure he can join we can type 25565 or whatever port number you established in the server.properties file and we can press check down here you'll see either an error message or a success message it's error because I don't have any ports on my router properly forwarded. However, if I did have them forwarded and this was run, the server was actually running and it, I checked it and it came back with a green success, I could see your, port, your service on whatever IP you are on port whatever you're using. Then that means you could probably, you're more than likely going to be able to give your friend um, your IP along with the port number and he's going to be able to type that into the Minecraft multiplayer um, text box and press join and have fun. Um, so that's just a helpful little tip. Um, it does work and it has helped. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is all you really need to know about running a uh, uh, a simple server. If you want more or if you have real questions that I can't answer, because um, I'm not going to be able to answer them all the time, and I probably won't. Um, I recommend going to the Minecraft forum, um, or Minecraft forums, or whatever, and just one Google search away, because um, they know a lot more about this, and there's also a lot more software to actually run the server and make it actually easier. There's even some uh, server software to run the server and uh, command it from a web page so even you can run it at home and then if say if you go on a trip somewhere and you want to just manage it real quick ban someone or make someone a moderator you can do that through the actual web uh, setup and it's all kinds of neat stuff but if you got any questions that are just a little bit more complicated or you really can't figure out what's going on and why it won't work go to them because them, they know what they're doing um, I'm just here to show you how to set up the basics. Right. Hope this helped. Good luck. Uh, Godspeed.